In this video, I'll show you how to make tapered rivers, a subtle way to add realism to a map. As more water collects in a river throughout its catchment basin, the river gets wider. Tapering the line that symbolizes a river on a map can help the reader understand which way it's flowing and make the map a more convincing representation of reality. The ability to easily make tapered rivers is something new in the CS5 version of Illustrator, so we're pretty excited to be able to show you how to do it. So my first step here is actually going to be to lock the other layers besides the Vermont rivers, just so we make sure we don't screw anything else up during this process. And I'll now zoom in on this end of the Otter Creek. I'm going to go and grab the direct selection tool and just click on the main channel here to show you that this river is actually made up of a bunch of straight, little straight lines instead of curved lines. So the river may look curved when we zoom out, but in reality it's all little straight lines. There are two problems with this. First, it's not a particularly good representation of a river, which we know isn't engineered in these little straight channels, but is, is really a more curvilinear feature. And second of all, because of the way that the river, because of the way that the, the tapering tool works with an illustrator, it will only draw a taper between, uh, if it's drawing a taper along a straight line, it will only draw a river between two verte vertices, whereas it will draw a taper all the way down a line that has many curved vertices on it. And so in order to draw a taper between one end of the river and the other, we need to make sure that all the vertices on that line are not these corner vertices, but are instead the curved vertices. So the first thing we're going to do is simplify this line so that it's drawn as a curve. So I want to make sure that I'm selecting the entire river. So I'm going to go grab the, the regular selection tool and click on the river so that every single one of those vertices is filled in. And then I'm going to grab the object menu, go to path, and then to simplify. And here I've got the preview button checked so you can see what these settings are going to do. I'm using a curve precision of 99%, which means that it's not going to alter the curve too much, but you can see that it is simplifying it. There are many fewer vertices, and they're all the curved, uh, the curved vertices. There are no corner vertices on there. I'll just select OK, and that's applied it to the entire river, which is, which is pretty nice. It's done a good job of keeping the path, but <clears throat> giving us a nice curvy river. So now we get to actually taper the river. We're going to go grab this tool over here called the Width Tool, which is the new one in, in Illustrator CS5. And all we have to do to specify the width of the river uh, at, at endpoints is to double click on those endpoints. It'll tell us that right now the total width is 0.96 points. And I think that we'd actually like to decrease that to 0.75. So I'll just type that in right there and hit OK. And then if we come down to the other end of the river, we've still got the width tool on. And if I double click on that end and ask that to be 0.25 in width, you can see that the river is now deselect so that you can see it. There's now this gradual taper from 0.25 width at this end all the way up to a width of 0.75 at this end. Now one thing I'm noticing here is that there seem to be a few little glitches in the way that the river is drawn. So right here I think there is still a corner point. You can see it right there where there's a hard angle in that curve. And we'd really like to get rid of that so that this is drawn properly. So I'm going to come over and grab under the pen tool this convert anchor point tool and click on that point and drag it out making sure that those handles make a nice line. And you can see that it's helping to give it a nice curve and now it's drawn a bit better. Okay so now we have our nice tapered stream for the Otter Creek. We can do the same things for the Winooski River. So if we select that and come over to the width tool, oh, first we've got to simplify it. I'll go up to object path, simplify, use that 99% curve precision. Now we can get the width tool and make the total width on that end 0.75 and at the other end. select it, get the width tool, 0.25. Now 
Now the Winooski River also has that nice taper to it. And you can see that compared to the Lamoille River up here, it's really a, a more convincing representation of that river getting gradually larger and larger and larger as it flows to Lake Champlain.